We are crossing live to Absrod Oval, where the Scott father will speak to the press. I heard that he is in a grumpy mood. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for joining. Now, uh, today's episode, we have a special guest. Um, the Spud is going to join us. Harper, he's made, he's made his trip all the way from Melbourne to see me in my offices in Melbourne. Just cover the hell. Okay, now he's going to come and join us today. And he has a few uh, few words to say. Now, he's not playing this. We're going to bench him. We're thinking about sacking him, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I'll, I'll explain to you why. But uh, let's have a look. What happened this week? What was? What are our results? How do we go to home here? Home. How do we go? We scored uh, eleven seventy six. Uh, so we're in the top six percent. It's not too bad. It just come down. Okay, we're not first. Okay, uh, we're ranked two thousand nine hundred and third. I mean, it's okay for the first round. We we want to be around be around the mark. I mean, if you understand, if you get a top five percent score or a top four percent score every round. Uh, you'll end up in a top 100. It's guaranteed, all right? So a top 6% score, we'll take it for the first round, considering all the carnage that happened uh, and all the spuds that didn't perform, like Harper. Anyway, uh, and we had um, um, FM, uh, JFM on the bench, scored 73. I could have used him. Is that Harper? But I kept Harper. Uh, bad choice of Harper. I don't understand. I mean, he was in good form in the in the preseason. Well, actually, in the Sheffield Shields, he was batting well. Came to the t T20s, he couldn't touch it. Anyway, he's useless. Now, let's go through some of the scoring uh, through the games, okay? Brisbane and Melbourne Stars. Now, we were lucky we captained Munro. It wasn't luck. I, I, I planned it. I said, I'm not going to go with no VC, no loop player. I'm just going to go straight up captain because I was planning for next week's and the week after and the week after and the week after that. All the fixtures... I didn't want to ha have any loop players uh, because I was going to get all the loop players this week for the Melbourne Stars. So we went straight up captain on Munro, and uh, he didn't let us down. Scored a 134. Maxwell scored a 73. Everything looked good, okay, at the start. Um, we had Bartlett in our team, then we took him out. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, Nessa, uh, 47. He was okay. Um Walter, we had him on the first game, scored a 30. It was okay. Uh, Billings, a 28. is not okay, but it's okay. Just come it down. Anyway, it was okay. Let's go to um the Melbourne Stars. We only had uh, three players because we didn't have the good ones like at the heart. Right? Well, there wasn't many good ones, but we didn't have uh, Cartwright who scored a 68 because he bats right down the order. But I forgot to mention, when you bat down the order at Melbourne Stars, you're literally opening the batting, okay? Because they all go out very quick. So Cartwright's actually an opener. Okay, even though he bats at number six or number five, he actually opens the batting for them. And he scored a six. I should have picked him. He scored 68. I should have realised. Now, I had Stoinis. Scored a 12. I mean, that's dis unbelievable. I was going to say disgusting. It's terrible, okay? And um, luckily, everyone owns him. Uh, who else? Harper scored a four. Can you believe this? Okay, and um, they're all terrible. Uh, actually, if you take uh, Munro, he probably outscored a whole lot of them all by his own, the whole score. Anyway, that was that game. Then we got to the uh, Sixers and the Renegades. And uh, for the Sixers, I didn't have anyone. Actually, I had one person, Abbott, and he scored a 35. I did have Philippe in my team originally. I replaced him. We won't go there. Uh, scored a 74. I was actually upset. I couldn't wait till he went out. I was getting jealous. Just come at the end. Anyway, scored a 74. Um, now, my boy here, Sutherland. What, what a gun. 151. Uh, when, when I was watching JF, JFM, scored 73. Oh, I didn't feel like my cheese on my bench. He scored more than all, all my, all, most of my players. I got him on the bench. I was getting so upset. Anyway, scored 73. Uh, who else? Clark, 36. I mean, it was disaster again. I mean, I don't have many of them, luckily. But um, anyway, uh, this week I'm put JFM on the field. He's a good boy. Anyway, let's go to the next game. Well, there was no, there's no scores. 
I had my Brisbane players. I had uh, five doubles. None of them played. It was just a waste. Okay, so that, that went down the drain. Uh, strikers players, I had them all on the bench. But I would have liked to have seen them play. They didn't play. The next game, Renegades again. Uh, top. I mean, this game was a washout as well. Uh, Sutherland scored a 26. Connolly scored a 6. I had Connolly on the field now because I had to replace JFM with his 73. Anyway, this was a disaster of a game. Especially if you own the Perth players. They all lost money in uh, value. Like the Richardsons and the Ties. They all lost value in money. Anyway, that game was a washout. The next game didn't matter to us much. We just had one player, which is uh, Hurricanes versus uh, the Sixers. Actually, we had two players, but one was on the bench. McDermott, 21, didn't do much. And we had, um, uh, luckily for us, we had Curran, uh, scored a 104, I was very happy. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, was, I replaced Curran uh, and took out um, Bartlett. So it, it sort of it didn't work out, but it was still okay. Because I wanted Curran for his, um, uh, I want to have a, a, an extra six a player for the buy rounds later on. Anyway, Curran did okay. Now... Uh, Sydney Thunder and Brisbane Heat. Now, I didn't have Sanger on the field. I didn't have Sanger on the bench. Uh, I originally did have him. Scored a 94. What a cash cow. I missed out. Uh, because you know why I didn't have him? Because I was thinking about the double the double plays next week. And um, I, I sort of picked all these Adelaide players on the bench because I thought I had the Adelaide players. Now, man, and their team wouldn't even play. What a waste. I could have had bloody Sanger. They just come at the help. Okay, but I didn't. Anyway, how are you supposed to know these things? Uh, anyway, Mananetti, he, he might not play. Uh, make me very upset now. Let's go back to this game day thing again. Uh, how do we get here? BBL matches. Round one. Okay. So, yeah, that was that. Now, Sydney Thunder versus um, Brisbane Heat. Uh, Bartlett again scored. I mean, it drove me nuts. Okay, Bartlett went twice. Uh, Walter this time had a good game, so I was very happy. Schwepson. Scored a 69. Uh, everyone's, uh, I missed out on Shropson as well. I could have got, I mean, it was cheap. I should have got him as well. I didn't get him. Because I had harp. I just covered the help. Anyway, uh, Sanger, a 94. Uh, yeah, that's Khan, 55. Anyway, uh, Sam's uh, was a shock. 20, I was thinking about getting Sam's. Lucky I did. He looked terrible. Uh, 25, bat and ball. He only bowled two overs. Anyway. Let's go back to the Stars game. Next game, Stars versus um, the Perth Scorchers. Okay, it was a disaster. What happened here? Now get back there. What's going on here now? They don't want to show the scores. It's upset. It's gone bright. What's happened here? Just get back here. Game, game day. Okay. I mean, the app is so embarrassed to show this game. They don't want to show the scores. Round, round one. Melbourne Stars, 101 all out. Who scored? Again, it was Cartwright, the opener. Okay. That's at number six, but he still opens the batting. Uh, scored 44. Uh, Dawson scored a 63. Stoinis, 16. I mean, I was going to get Rolf. He scored 12. Harper scored one. He scored three in the first game or four. He's useless. Now, uh, luckily, uh, I got Connolly in. He scored 81. Uh... I missed out on JFM, but luckily Connolly made up for it. But cash-wise, uh, we're not looking good. Uh, it looked like Ty, 43, it didn't do much. Hardy, 65, it's not too bad. Richardson, 70, they're, they're good scores. Now, let's go to our team, okay? Uh, with our team this week, what are we going to do? Okay, now we have um, the round this week. We've got Adelaide going to play two games, and there's and there's uh, there's a buy for, um, for the Stars. And now in round three, okay... We've got the Stars going to have a double. So we can't get rid of any of, the, any of these Stars players. So Harper has to stay. Okay, this is disgraceful. And uh, we're going to keep all the um, Renegade players. That's why, that's why we got them, okay, to, to keep them. All right, and uh, in round four, uh, Strikers have the double. Okay, so we've got a plan for that as well. Anyway, let's get to round, round two. Now, this week, for starters, uh, Harper goes on the bench. All right, short replaces Harper, and we have Overton going to go on the uh, on field, and Maxwell goes on the bench here. Uh, something happened here. Just come down. Okay, Maxwell sub Mananetti on. Now we don't even know if Mananetti is going to play, so it's going to be a last minute decision what I'm going to do with Mananetti. Okay, now 
Uh, who, who are we going to trade out? Munro has a break even of minus 28, all right? But I don't need him, okay? So he's gone. Okay, he's got to buy the following week as well. He's gone. I'm going to replace him uh, with my vice captain this week, who's going to be, oh, where is he? Vice captain Matt Shorts. Okay, so Short comes in and gets a vice captaincy. Now, Nessa goes out, okay? I'm going to replace him with, and uh, get back to Adelaide. Uh, Nessa goes, I'm going to replace him with Payne. I'm thinking about Payne, or I'm thinking about um, Basley. Uh, so most likely it's going to be Basley. Okay, so Basley comes in and replaces um, uh, Nessa, okay? So we've got um, two Brisbane outs, two Adelaide in. Because, I mean, next week we're going to have um, both Brisbane and Adelaide have a, have a buy. So what's the point of having so many Brisbane players? So he's gone. Now, we have one more trade to make. Now, if Overton plays, okay, well, I'm happy to keep, uh, have one, two, three, four, five of these players here. And what I'll do is I'm going to remove Billings out. All right, so Billings goes out. Put Harper over there. We're going to put Curran, or oh, put Walter over there, all right. And we're going to bring in Sydney Sixers player, no, not Sid Sydney Thunder player, okay? We're going to bring in Sanger, all right? The only reason we're going to bring in Sanger is because I want him to, um, I'm preparing for round four, all right? So we're going to bring in Sanger. That's option number one, all right? And and if I do this, okay, we're going to, all right, let's complete these trades. Now, if I do, if I do it like this one, okay, what's going to happen here is um, we got McDermott. Um, has a second game on Wednesday, it's tomorrow. So we're going to put emergency on McDermott. If he performs, good. If he doesn't perform, we're going to sub... Let's say Murphy, uh, McDermott didn't perform. Harper goes there, and we're going to put Clark over there. Okay, Clark plays on Thursday. So Clark will be replacing McDermott's bad score. But if McDermott has a good score, then we'll keep it as Harper stays there. Okay, that's plan A. Now, the next plan is we're going to have Connolly on the bench. Okay, now here's the emergency. Now, if Connolly has a good game, he'll come on here, and we're going to replace... Um, we're going to replace... We'll put Clark over there. No, we can't. Okay, we're going to put somebody... Okay, what's happening here? Uh, what can we do here? No. Like this. Okay, I worked it out. Okay, so we're going to have... Um, if Connolly has a good game, all right, then we'll take Clark off. Clark off. And Maxwell on. All right, so that's that's the plan. Now, also over here, uh, we have um, Sanger. So I could put Sanger and Walter. So I could swap them two around. And Sanger's going to be our loop, our, our emergency. Now, if Sanger on the first game has a good game, we can use his score. If it doesn't... <laughs> Same thing again, Stornis comes in, and somebody goes out, maybe Walter goes out, so we can play around with this, okay? Now, that's the plan, that, and I, I, I like this plan, however, okay, let's undo this, plan B, if Mananetti's not playing, we have a plan B, just come with the L, let me show you, now, uh, plan B, alright, well, again, similar to plan A, we need the cash, so Munro and Nessa got cash, so we're going to take the cash from them, all right. I mean, they, they were always going to be a one-week prospect, no matter what they scored. So Adelaide players, we're going to bring in, again, uh, Basley. All right, where's Basley? What's happened to Basley? Okay, where'd he go? Uh, Basley. Actually, let's put in um, Short first. Where's Short? All right, Short goes in. And then Basley goes in, okay? So we've got these two. Now, if Manananetti is not playing... We have a problem because we've only got. Um, I mean, we don't have a problem. We do have a problem. Manetti doesn't play. Manetti goes out. So I'm going to trade him out. All right. Because I want to have at least five uh, Adelaide players. Okay. So Manetti goes out. Now, who comes in? All right. Players I can afford. Now, I don't even know who's playing. Okay. Now, is Can going to play? Is. Um, 
a Dodger going to play? I don't know who's playing. Who's Boyce going to play? Now, whoever's playing, I'm going to bring in Adelaide Poe who I can afford. And there's not many that I can afford, but these are the ones. Now, I can't afford... Uh, who has... Who can't I afford? Uh, players I can afford. I can't afford uh, Agar, and I can't afford... Uh, who, who else is there? I, I wanted Payne, but I'm, I'm 2K short on Payne. I can't afford Payne. Um, so, yeah. So, that's who I can afford right now. And so, if... if Again, if Manette is not playing, and the, and the ones that I was mentioning are playing, so we're gonna we're gonna most likely bring in Boyce. Boyce comes in, and we complete this trade, and then Boyce will go out next week. It's only coming in for one week, okay? It's a cash grab. It was, it's actually a point grab if you can score points. Or anyway, so that comes over there, okay? And um, Maxwell goes back on the bench. So that's the plan. Okay, and again, the same. We've got the loops everywhere. So we can do a lot of looping here. We can sort of loop around and um, pretty much put any player we want. We can put um, emergency on Connolly. Uh, I don't want to put emergency on Curran. Walter's probably too late for emergency. I'll probably put the emergency here on um, McDermott. Who else can I put emergency on? Well, Short's going to come in, so I'm not going to put emergency on him. Anyway, uh, that's what's going to happen. I'll work out in a minute. I haven't worked it out yet. The emergency is okay. Just come at the hell. Anyway, that's the plan, okay? Now, next week, uh, we're going to have how many double players? Let's have a look. Let's count them, okay? Uh, we've got one. Well, this week, how many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, all right? Uh, five is enough. I don't want. I don't want any more than five because um, uh, it's a headache. Okay, because if they have a bad game or bad two games, uh, I don't I haven't seen Adelaide play yet, and if they have two bad games, we're in trouble. Okay, because the whole team doesn't score. So I'd rather have just five in case they go nuts. Now, and and I've got it well covered with batsmen and bowlers. So I've got uh, pretty much everyone. Everyone in this team bowls. Okay, they're all going to have an over, and um, and and three or four of them bat. So it's actually a good combination here, of batsmen and bowlers. Now, what happens uh, next week? All right, let's count the doubles. One, two, three, four, five. Now, count Harper. It's not really a double. You know, five. Uh, and Stornis is six. Next week, we'll trade out three players. Uh, we're going to try to keep Basley. So, we're going to trade out uh, Overton, Boyce, and most likely uh, Walter or Billings. So, three players go out. And uh, and we'll have um, replacements for them. Actually, speaking of um, Billings, if I really, really, really wanted to have um, uh, Payne in the team, I could actually keep uh, Manenetti and get rid of Billings, all right? And that will bring me in Payne. So I can actually do that as well. All right, that's an option. Anyway, so that's it for this week. That's it for the team, okay? We're, we're hoping... To slowly now go up the rankings. Okay, that's the plan. Now, our current ranking is not that good. Okay, now who's ranked first? Let's have a look. Do we know these people? I mean, he's got a good score. 1,530. What kind of team has he got? Let's have a look at his team. All right, now, have a look at the team here. 1,531 points. He's, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles. Okay, that's, that's why he's got a big score. But now he has a problem, okay? Uh, especially next round. Around... Um, Three, uh, he's only got one double. One, two, three, four double. He got the he got the knock in the cock in there as well. Okay, I can't believe this. Anyway, we'll have to bring the cock in next week. So he got he's gonna have uh, seven doubles next week, which is not bad. We we have nine. Okay, so we we'll catch up some points. And this week he's only got uh, four doubles. So he went all out on the first round. Pretty much all of these players that are in the top went crazy on the first round. Uh, he had one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. He's also got um, a loop player, so loops aren't good, okay? Loops are bad news. Anyway, we'll see how we go, right? Let's not worry about the leaders at the moment. It's too early to worry about the leaders now, okay? We can't catch them at the moment. Maybe a couple of weeks' time we'll catch them. But um, I'm happy with the way we're, we're, we're placed right now. We're, we're, we're placed in a good position, okay? Now, I'm going to bring in my special guest, okay? He's a, he's a spud of Melbourne right now, okay? His name is... Um, Harper, okay. Anyway, let's put him on. Hello, everybody. 
This is hard by. The coach doesn't like me anymore. He calls me a spud. I don't know why he calls me a spud. I mean, I bet it twice. I didn't take one catch. No one stumping. But I didn't drop any. It's not my fault. My team is garbage. They're crap. They're poo poo. Okay? They didn't give me any catches. Our bowlers can't bowl. No, no one batsman nicked the ball to me. I couldn't catch nothing. And I'm a keeper. Just come on down. It's not my fault. Okay? And I, and I opened the bat. But I wasn't that bad. I went out the first game. But it wasn't my fault. They didn't even appeal. They had to go to the cameras. Then they, the umpire didn't give me out. The second umpire, they just cut it down. It was all my fault. Anyway, the coach can't sack me. I'm safe. I'll show you why. Uh, round, in round three, he needs me. Okay, because I got a double. Uh, round four, he's going to bench me. I know, I can feel it. But round five, he needs me again. He can't sack me. He got another double. He can't sack. I'm, he's stuck with me for, for four more weeks. Can you believe this? Anyway, I'm going to be in the team four more weeks. I'm going to perform. I'm going to bat really well. I'm going to do better than all of them. I'm going to do better than shorts. Both of them combined. Anyway, I'm happy with my score of five, okay, because my team is poo-poo. Okay, so if I give a poo-poo score, it's okay. Well, it's Torrance scored 28. He didn't do much better. And Maxwell didn't even play the second game. At least I played two games. Maxwell did only one game. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm so upset. Coach doesn't like me. I'm going to go. I've gone for the uh, VC and um, and, the, and the captains. And I didn't really get, want to go and bother all my experts because this week it's just so obvious. Everyone's going to uh, uh, VC short. And uh, my good friend Damo, uh, he gave me his tip. And uh, let me show it to you. Now, uh, Demo has said that Matt Short as the VC and Michael Nessa as the C. Okay, now I like I like this, these plans. Now, I don't have Nessa in my team, so I can't put him C. But uh, and he says, now, in my case, it's going to be, um, my VC is going to be, uh, my captain is going to be Curran. If, um, or even, maybe even Sutherland. Okay, I'm not even Captain Sutherland. If Short fails, Sutherland's my captain. That's my plan. And uh, what, what, um... Matt has said here, I mean, uh, Damo said here is Matt Short, VC, uh, Nessa C, by the way, but more than likely locking in Matt Short, VC is just so I get a look at an, an account for injuries, role change, etc. So we'll see how it goes. But um, a Captain's Corner, we may not do anymore because um, there's going to be no time in between games. I mean, for example, round two uh, finishes Friday the 22nd and round three... Starts Saturday. It's virtually every day there's cricket. So there's no chance to create these videos. Ask ask people who's getting a captain when they haven't even uh, got rid of their players yet. So it's it's nearly impossible. Okay, it's not like the AFL. So we're going to do no captain's corners no more. Uh, you're just going to have to go. I'm just going to show you who, my, who I've VC'd and captained because it's not going to work. Uh, so for me this week, it's going to be VC short and captain, most likely either Curran or captains on Sutherland. Actually, round two, hang on, round two. When's Sutherland playing? Yeah, uh, Sutherland, well, it can go either way. So that's all we're going to do, okay? We'll see how it goes. And um, the problem with um, if I captain Curran is uh, he plays on Friday at the SCG and, and it might shower on Friday. Can you believe this? So I might not even captain Curran. I might just go straight up with um, Sutherland just to be safe. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining and remember one thing, it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now. That's all, folks.